What's going on everybody? My name is Adros and welcome back to some more reactions. I just got out of school. It's the weekend now. It's Thursday, but tomorrow's Good Friday, so we don't have school. Three day weekend. I got some clothes that just came in on Amazon. And next week, we don't really have school for a few days because of star testing. All that combined, I am in a great mood. I'm in a real good mood. I have a lot to look forward to. And I wanted to spread my positive energy on YouTube and do a reaction, which I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna do a few reactions before going into another game that I have. But for now, we are back with some more Jubilee. This time, we are watching Should You Watch Porn? Now, as somebody who watches, watch, it this caught my eye when i saw this and i was like i really want to watch it see how people think see what people you know it just interests me so here we are we're gonna watch it we're gonna react to it it's not that long i'm gonna try not to pause the video too much because that's more editing i have to do and i'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing it unless i have something really important to say but anyway let's get into it hi i'm buck and i'm a human rights activist and pro porn hi i'm abigail and i'm an aspiring physician and i'm pro porn hi i'm riley I'm an adult performer and I'm pro porn. Hi, my name is JK. I am a porn addiction recovery coach and I'm passionate about helping men who struggle with uh, compulsive sexual behaviors. All right. Hi, my name is Maria. I run a youth organization and we educate on this issue. Okay. My name is Nicole. I'm 21 years old. I'm headed to law school next year. I have been a first hand witness of the devastating effects porn can have in personal relationships. Can I have my anti-porn people on the left and my pro-porn people on the right, please? Nice. Let's, let's see what we got here. I have watched porn. I'm pretty sure all of them. Okay, no. I'll accept that I've one. I've watched girl. porn in the past, and I think I've watched uh, more than my fair share of it <laughs> to the point <laughs> that it changed my life. But right now, I don't because I'm at a point where it's been a decade. I won't be going back Dang. to it. <laughs> All right. What a great medium to use to help to explain to people different kinds of bodies, different kinds of sexualities, different ways that people fantasize That's about true. things. That's true. That's absolutely manner. true. Um, I started off watching porn as young as 12 out of curiosity. Dang. And eventually it led into my sexual exploration and loving my body. I didn't start watching porn straight up watching it until eighth grade. Before it was just twerking videos on YouTube, but straight up porn like Pornhub, X videos, Spank Bang, X Hamster, Tasty Blacks, cartoon, I like car, all that stuff. None of that was in effect until eighth grade. That was when my curiosity about it peaked. And I was like, you know what? Whatever, let's go. And. Uh, of course, it continued. It's not like I don't think about sex or anything like that, but that's just something I've only seen cause destruction in the relationships um, that I've been close to, and I've purposely stayed away from it. Mm -hmm. Don't you think right. that they already had a problem before the pornography? Sure, yeah. So how can, don't you, do you think the pornography just pushed it forward and made the yeah. situation worse? I don't think it's the cause. I think it's mm -hmm. a symptom of the cause. It's a reinforcement. It certainly pushed forward into issues of deceit, of mistrust, and okay. broken relationships that certainly that. weren't helped by an exposure to pornography. What is addiction? Mm -hmm. Addiction is when it starts interfering with other aspects of your life, when it interferes with your career, when it interferes with your finances, when it interferes with your erection. I couldn't masturbate for years unless I was viewing pornography. Do you think shame has Dang. something to do with it? Sounds like a not me problem. <laughs> People have created this idea that pornography is negative, pornography is bad. People yes. use these to blame mm -hmm. or springboards to say, well, he used alcohol and he watched pornography, so yeah. that must be the reason. If that wasn't there, if porn wasn't there, the relationship could be saved. Porn has directly affected my sex life. Ooh, let's see. I developed a sense of entitlement towards certain sexual acts. I expected that a woman in a relationship with me should um, okay. be willing to give blowjobs okay. or should want to have anal sex. All right. It caused them to look at their bodies and go like, well, he likes me for everything else, but like he's totally not into it. 100% agree with you. There is bad pornography. I will 100%. But yes, that said, that doesn't make all of it the case that it's causing people to have erectile dysfunction. Now me, I'm a transgender man. 
So I was born a woman and I became a man. I kept my vagina. I kept my vagina for a reason, but that said, I use it in, within my pornography. And I use that specifically to teach the world about sexual experiences with a man like myself. But the question that I have for all of you would be, what are we doing about the 11, for the 11 year olds who can one moment are playing Fortnite or Minecraft and the next they are watching someone of your gender, which they have no understanding of what it is and using that to determine what their sexual identity is going to be. That's the main thing when it comes to this is young, my age, younger than me, middle school, elementary, all children. When it comes to this and when it comes to sex education and our bodies and the things that reproduct and like the things that we want to know, no one tells us. We have no sources of this. So the only source becomes the internet. You take sex, internet together, mix it up, where do you get? Pornhub.com. <laughs> this is what leads into porn is because at first you get curious, but your parents won't talk to you about it. Your teachers won't talk to you about it. No one in your family will talk to you about it or tell you the right things, that is. Even in your school that you go to, there isn't a sex education class, which I believe in America, every middle school and or high school should have a sex education class because let's be honest, in this time and age, kids are getting knocked up left and right. I remember my first few weeks of freshman year, I had already saw like four pregnant girls. I was like, I just walked into a whole new threshold. But that's what it is though. So I think we do need sex education. I don't think our only sex education should be porn. And then everybody shames us because we watch porn, but it's like, what else? What else is there? In like the middle of the talk, a mom, she stood up basically and raised her hand and grabbed the mic. Uh, her son, who was eight years old, he had Googled sex. So he was curious. He wanted to know, you know, like any yeah. other kid. But what he found then was porn. And I would argue that the mainstream pornography does not actually show sex, if you know what I mean. He was not so upset about like what he had seen. He was more upset about the thing that he had seen. He thought, this is what my parents do to each other in bed. You have to have some level of maturity to watch it. I remember coming across a video where um, a girl was masturbating with a Sharpie marker. And I thought, the hell? oh, look, she, she's having fun. Let me grab a Sharpie marker. Let me try this. Made absolutely no sense. I remember doing it and I remember thinking, <laughs> what is this? Like, this makes no sense. Women use anything. I saw a girl use a brush. High school, a, a video that went around the school a, a, like a year, two years ago. It was my sophomore year. It was just, <laughs> I remember it clearly. It was a video that went around Instagram and it, it, it was hitting all my friends. And then one of them sent it to me. It was a girl who was using a brush and she was using like the handle, the, the long handle part of the brush. And she was just, uh, I was like, nah, nah fam, out of my sight but I did like it. <laughs> I said no to the prompt because I currently do not have a sex life, but I've definitely experienced emotional intimacy with somebody who was addicted to pornography. And that similar to you, it sounds like, had expectations of me that I couldn't fulfill and that I didn't even know yeah. where they were coming from. I can definitely see porn changing the mind of the man of what they expect when they're in bed with a woman. Sex with a woman like that is supposed to be sensual, love, a true love feeling. But when you watch porn and it's fake and scripted and, a and actors, you expect that stuff. No, you have to think. That's not what your girl is going to do. She's not going to give you a blowjob, most likely. She's not gonna ride you like a, like you're a horse. She's not gonna do that. I can definitely see that. That a lot of men who watch porn, their women end up questioning themselves or whatever because they can't fulfill their pornographic fantasy. So I can definitely see how that's a problem. I can absolutely see that. The stigma around porn is too negative. I feel like people do make it a lot neg a lot of negative than it actually is. <laughs> what I see when I meet kids and youth, especially like in the classrooms, is that the stigma and the kind of shame and the guilt is exactly what is yes. kind of hindering the conversation. I'm all about like lifting that off mm -hmm. of their shoulders to have, you know, the conversation be open and honest. Yo. That's why I think it's so important that this is happening. That woman is on it. I got caught several times. 
watching porn. I remember the first time I got caught, my mom made me feel so, 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 so ashamed. Or I felt so ashamed. To the point where it was in the middle of the night and she called my dad up from work and we was having a con I was like, bro, it's not that serious. I watch porn. Okay, so what? Any parents watching this video, if you do catch your child watching porn or masturbating or doing whatever, don't make them feel shame. It's not a bad thing to do. It, like, I know a lot of people say it's against the Bible or whatever. Look, don't make them feel bad about it. No matter how bad you may think it is, kids shouldn't be shamed because they watch porn or masturbate or do both. You shouldn't do that to your children. Make a conversation, ask them questions, give them advice. Don't make them feel shameful. That's the type of stuff that makes me mad because that stigma that parents give to children that porn is bad and premarital sex and all that is bad, it's not horrible. It's not shameful. Not something you should be ashamed of. Just because you have questions and you're curious and you go exploring, you shouldn't be uh, shameful for that. Especially in the church, there's um, the stigma of shame that comes after um, asking for forgiveness. I just think that there should be um, an easier way to- So you get shamed for asking for forgiveness, what? I haven't really talked much at all while we've been sitting here about labor and the people who make porn and from okay. my point of view, I see firsthand so much the way that stigma against porn affects the lives the and the safety of porn performers. It is hard to find a mental health care professional who will not pathologize you for your choice of occupation. Mm -hmm. It leads to a well-known phenomenon, people losing their families just by virtue of what they do for a living. Mm -hmm. It's the palpable discrimination that sex workers Basically, of all kinds yeah. face because of this kind of negative stigma many actors that get out of the industry and try to get other jobs the people hiring or th that's interviewing them look at their previous occupations and then they're like no you did porn we can't have you it's like it it's the same thing with many other people who got maybe got out of prison or maybe have been convicted of some things they try to get their life straight but no one allows them even if we come out of that we can't do anything else so normally a lot of people go right back or if they don't want to go back, they just sit stuck. But I do believe that the stigma that is on a lot of actors and people who work in the porn industry is not necessary. Some people want to get out. Some people do get out, but they're never successful because no other places will hire them simply because they did porn. The stigma on porn that parents currently put, I know if it's for the safety of your children, but it is not that bad. It really isn't that bad. We have devices that can that we can access literally anything else. 30 years ago, my parents didn't have this. At the most, I think they had paging. You couldn't go to the internet. It, I, the internet didn't even exist in the 80s, did it? Well, it... I think it did. I don't know. They didn't have little mini supercomputers in their pockets that can access literally anything in the world. We do. So even if you tell your child don't, when they hit a teenager, they're going to anyway. And eventually, you're going to have to face this and you're going to have to have a conversation and you are going to have, they're going to ask you questions, you're going to have to give them answers, straight up answers. At the same time, the stigma that people, adults and parents put on porn isn't necessarily true the way that they make it. They make it seem like it's an evil thing. It's really not. Once stigma is there, it's it's just gonna create a negative space. I, I, can, I agree with you. You don't ever have to accept what I do. Only thing I ask for is respect. And respect yes. means no stigma. While yes. I would maybe not give you exactly what you want as respect for your profession, I absolutely respect you as a person. And I think that your okay. opinions, while totally wrong, are <laughs> you have the right to have that opinion. Our society needs better sex Y'all all better step up for that one. We do need better sex education. Porn is like the only sex education that's available. Don't just teach them how sex works biologically. Teach the children about consent and autonomy over their bodies and communication with their partners and how to do that in a healthy way. Emotional intelligence is one of the things that is lacking among men who watch a lot of pornography. Society, the way we were raised, Disney, and then Pornhub. And then you get this messed yes. up emotional intelligence thing. Yes. You know, it all conflicts. That dang patriarchy again. You have to understand, man, it's true, because I was born as a woman. I was not born as a man. It's dominance taking. That's what we see as masculinity, and I totally disagree with that. It's very toxic. I think we basically all agree that at the end of the day, we recognize sex as something that should be beautiful, that should be a form of expression, just who you're expressing it to exactly. and when you express it, we all kind of disagree on. I think all of these views were necessary to create something nuanced and 
I hope that it improves the mental landscapes of the folks who consume what we produce. The one thing you have to consider when it comes to pornography is teenagers, all right? This is when our hormones kick in. This is when we get crazy. Everybody has been through this point in time or will go through it. This is the point where our hormones act up. Our hormones do the thinking for us. And this is really the time when we get into pornography and exploring our bodies and exploring the things that we can do and even fanning out to explore and meet people that we can do certain things with and without the proper education I, I do believe that you can make a lot of mistakes i feel like a lot of teenagers do have sex early and end up getting pregnant because like i said first day freshman year i walked in and, you know and a few weeks went by and i saw so many pregnant women and they were all sophomores juniors seniors and the one thing i've always wondered and asked not to them of course but to myself is where's the father where's the baby daddy where's the person that impregnated you i've ne i'd never see that i'm just gonna say that right now they leave which leaves the woman by themselves with that baby and when the baby's born they're taking care of that baby or the family's taking care of that baby and it puts a lot of stress on everyone i'm not saying abort it just don't have sex or if you do take a pill or if guys use a condom dude, that's what condoms are for they literally stop baby making from happening if you don't want that use condoms i'm telling you that's what they're made for i don't want to go against anybody's thinking of you know having babies or do you do you i'ma do me just you do you away from me okay anyways that's gonna be it for now this was actually pretty interesting to watch i can't believe i didn't watch this before uh, i'm finally done with honey pop so now it's time to get back into some more reactions i do have quite a lot of videos to watch that i'll be recording all through this weekend and i'll be editing and putting up on the channel throughout uh the next week or so and we're gonna be getting into some real good stuff here but um other than that i am going to go so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace out